done the pre-site inspection. We've cleared the roof as safe and um, viable to do the, the product. Um, as we've discussed, the rolls are done in five meter rolls, nice and compact to get it through the manual. And the rolls are also pre-slit in an 800 and a 400 to fit nicely in between the roof rafters. So I think now the fun begins. Let's go up in the roof and start installing. The ideal, obviously, is in summer periods to, to try and do the installation before 10, 11 o'clock in the morning because of just the excessive heat in, in the roof um, where you can get temperatures up to 65 degrees. Um, as a standard, in terms of safety equipment, you would use your dust mask. Um, the material itself is not hazardous at all. It's the same soft material as what you find in your bedding, the, the polyester fiber. It's no irritant to um, smell and, and to, to breathing. But uh, the mask is more for the dust that's in the roof itself. Safety goggles as well um, for the dust movement to just try and keep the eyes clean and, and dry. We have gone and done our pre-inspection, lights, water pipe, electrical wiring, and once that part is done, then we start with the installation, which is actually nice and simple. This training DVD is in respect to fitting on existing insulation. Now, many times you find that after four or five years, the product becomes so saturated with dust and from moisture in the air that it actually starts collapsing and has very little thermal value. So although there's insulation in the roof, it doesn't mean much in terms of, of your thermal efficiency. And that's why we get a lot of customers saying, but they want the superior foil product. That's also, as we mentioned, the benefit of this product is that the fiber is protected with the fact that you've got the foil facing, which protects it from any moisture and dust. This product in particular is the, the two off-cut pieces, the 400s. And as you can see, they fit nicely next to one another. Here's the roof rafters here. So they fit nice and snug. So no material is, is lost or additional expenses because of, of sections that cannot be used. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate how we're going to install the product. When you find that the rafters are a slight bit narrower or wider, it's then easy just with the scissors to trim and, and, and cut the product to the right widths. Also, what is a very practical tool is when you need to get right into the corners because of the low height and you can't enter there, it's simply just using a broomstick to, to work the product into the corners at a comfortable height and that's very effective to just get the, the product right into the corner. We're now going to do the section on installing on an existing ceiling without insulation. What's also important is again the support, the roof rafter, and we've actually gone and just painted them red. So when you get out of the roof, you can actually visually quite easily see if you've left one of them behind. In terms of installing, you never want to cover any pipe work with the insulation because if there's any leaks or plumbing work that needs to be done, you want to be able to trace the pipe work, especially with electrical wires. So when we do the insulation, it's just as simple as taking a scissors, cutting it open and working it around the pipework. The insulation is better that it's installed on the ceiling boards with a foil facing up, so you've got that radiant barrier. 93% of that radiant heat from the roof tiles is reflected by the foil layer on top, and then the reverse again in the winter. All the heats that generated in the house, you've got that thermal insulation on the ceiling, which is then not lost into the roof space. But in extreme temperatures, and also if there's no shade on the roof and you've got intense amounts of heat coming into the house, we install the insulation against the roof tiles. What is important is that we start with the insulation right at the top of the roof, but you can see there's a natural air vent right at the, the, the knock of the roof. So we want to start with the material, leaving that little bit of an air gap so that the, the hottest air can still have the natural air movement where it can channel the air out of the roof at the top. It is done very simply in exactly the same manner as what we do the ceiling insulation, but just by the use of a staple gun and literally positioning the material in between the roof rafters, we're going to take the staple gun and just shoot it on the inside of the roof rafters with a foil. The foil is very strong. It's based with a woven polypropylene. So by simply stapling the foil, onto the side of the roof rafter, the material will stay in place for 15 years plus easily. And also with it being an Enviro Tough product, it's extremely strong and durable that it won't tear with, with time. Very useful tip is to open up the roof tiles. 
Although there is a bit of a risk element associated with that with water leaks, if done properly, it makes the installation so much easier because number one, you're getting rid of, of just that excessive heat with a bit of ventilation in the roof space. And also the, the light that comes in from, from outside, natural sunlight, makes a big difference in terms of seeing where you're moving in a roof rafters. Lift it at the front part and gently slide it back. And again, when we replace it, we just lift it over the, the front ridge and move it back into position.